So you know how every once in a while you come across a story that's just absolutely mind-blowing? But you know, as ham radio operators, we kind of could understand some certain things that the regular John Q. public and Jane, our public, doesn't really know, right? So today we're going to tell you a story about a man who was stranded in the snow and he didn't have cell service, but he attached a phone to his drone and he flew it until he got reception and can send a message for help. This is pretty good. And you know, it really shows that in when you have a bad situation, you can make the best of it. Now, so this this story here um, is from Business Insider. It says a man driving on a remote road in Oregon's uh, Cascade Range, he got stuck in the snow without service. He attached his cell phone to his drone. He tried sending a text and then he flew it until he got reception. Um, and then, you know, of course, uh, it goes on to say as a bonus that during the rescue, they also rescued a separate person who had been stuck for days. Yikes. So um, he was driving down the road in the Willamette National Forest or located in the Cascades Mountain Range. I guess this is in Oregon. And when he got stuck, uh, the Lane County Sheriff's Search and Rescue, um, they, his situation was made worse because his family was out of the country. And nobody knew where he had gone to call or to call for help and it didn't make it home. So, but, you know, thinking quickly, uh, the man, and he, didn't, he wasn't identified, he realized that he may be able to use the drone he had with him to call for help. Because, yeah, you know, you go out in this beautiful country, you carry a drone to take photos, right? So he attached his cell phone and then he typed a text message explaining that he needed help exactly where he was. After hitting send, he flew his drone several hundred feet in the air. Hmm. The increased elevation allowed his phone to connect to a tower and send a message, which resulted in the search and rescue teams being deployed and assisting him out of his situation. Um, during the rescue, they were also able to locate another motorist who had spent multiple days stranded in the snow. So, um, yeah, this was pretty um, ingenious, you know. Rarely does anyone in Oregon die from ex exposure waiting in their vehicle to be found and rescued. But we've unfortunately seen many poor outcomes for those who choose to walk away. So, you know, this is, this is an important thing. For survival, it's always good to have a knowledge, a basic knowledge of radio, how radio works, how radio propagation works. And height is one of those things that could help you on VHF and UHF. Um, and then, you know, using the tools at your disposal. But, you know, I do have to say one thing, though. Had this person had an iPhone 14, he would have probably been able to use a satellite connectivity feature, which I have tried here on, on my iPhone, and it works pretty well. Um, but the only thing is you have to be outside, and it only has limited message capability. So this also works. But... Um, if you have an iPhone 14, you could do the same thing. There's also like Garmin and Reach and such like that. Um, and then um, in Southern, because they were talking in the same insider article in Southern California, other motorists who got stranded without cell service were also able to call for help using their um, uh, iPhone 14. And the feature, it, and that one's cool because it will detect if you fall and such like that. So. That's pretty nice. I, I love to see good stories like this, you know. Moral of the story is um, <laughs> try to use what you have. But, um, you know, try not to get in trouble, first of all. I mean, you know, I tell people all the time, um, especially when I'm doing, like, you know, other activities, um, try not to get in trouble in the first place. But, you know, sometimes you can't avoid it. Sometimes you, Sometimes you just get unlucky sometimes you do something dumb and realize after the fact and then um, you do it so that's great but how this works essentially is that you know a different height you're able to see further along the radio horizon right you're not like just um, you're not blocked by objects and you're not blocked by trees and such like that so as you go higher you're able to see the radio horizon so that's a pretty good feel-good story and um, I hope people don't do it again. At the same time, um, I hope they brought a drone, they brought a phone, and they brought some string. Or maybe they just had an iPhone 14. I am Rhea. I'll see you around. Peace in 73s. Don't forget to, watch a to listen to the radio show on 5050 on Fridays or wherever you get your favorite podcast. So you search for Rhea Shack Radio, and I'm right there. 
See you.